Hello, it's Yvonne from Quilting Jet Girl, and I'm working on a show quilt. This is a quilt that I'm hoping to have done in time to submit for consideration to QuiltCon 2024. And because it is a show quilt, I'm putting a little bit more time into some considerations. And today I'm gonna to talk you through how I decided what thread I'm going to use for the piecing. So I'm getting ready to start piecing my first blocks for Cloudy Night Sky, and it's a striking two color quilt with some pretty big contrast difference. And I thought I would take some time today before I <laughs> sewed my first units together and do some testing to figure out what thread I want to use for piecing. I was thinking that I was going to use a dark navy that matched the background fabric color for the piecing, but I also have um, an off-white to match the off-white and my handy uh, dove light gray thread that I often use for piecing as well. So what I'm planning on doing is just going to my trash can <laughs> and finding some scraps and sewing it together with these different threads, pressing my seams open and taking a look at it to help me decide what I want to use. I think that when I am sewing some of my bigger pieces together, because this is going to have a lot of negative space, I will use the white thread for the white piecing and the navy thread for the navy to navy. But when I have um, the navy to off-white, I just need to figure out what thread color I want to use. So I'm curious uh, what thread you would try, and I'll be back with some results later. So here are the three units that I sewed together using the three different thread colors, and you can see how the thread colors look on both the front and the back side of the units. The next step is to press the seams open because I will be pressing my seams open when I piece the quilt. And then let's take a look at what works the best. I pieced this one with the very dark navy or fill thread and I pressed the seam open as you can see on the back and I think the results are going to be pretty subtle but if I really really work at the seam and I pull the seam apart down here you can see that the navy thread kind of blends in really well and maybe shows up a little bit starkly against the off-white fabric. So I'm gonna slide this out of the way and we'll take a look at the unit that was pieced using the muslin thread which matches the off-white fabric. So again, I sewed this seam with the off-white thread, pressed the seam open, and when I do the same sort of more aggressive pull at the seam, that thread shows up a lot more in the seam. Instead of blending in, I'll pull this navy back in. So instead of blending in to that seam, I feel like the muslin shows up a lot more starkly in the seam. And again, I don't necessarily expect the seams to be pulled or pressed that strongly, but I'm just trying to get a feel for the differentiation in the choice of piecing thread. And then the last option that I considered was using uh, a light gray or a filled dove slide these two off to the side and this was the seam that was sewn together with Orofil Dove and again sewed the seam, pressed the seam open and when I go through the same thing of pulling the seam open it is sort of a little bit in between. I feel like I can still see those stitches in the seam when I, and it's no longer pulled apart but I feel like I see those stitches a little bit more not as starkly as I did with the off-white, but a little bit more than I do with the navy. So I'm personally leaning towards using navy and I will be very careful about how I clip my threads so that the threads don't fall across um, and show up ghosted behind the off-white fabric. But between the navy and the off-white fabric currently, I'm leaning towards using the navy thread Piecing navy to navy, of course, we'll use it navy. And then when I'm piecing off-white to off-white, I will use the muslin matching thread. Those are my current thoughts. In closing, I want to address a couple of questions that I have received on these videos because I shared them on my Instagram account and they were really, really good questions and comments. So the first comment came from a quilter who mentioned that when she runs into this, that she will often use one thread color on the top and a different thread color in the bobbin. And I thought that was really clever. So I tested that out by using the navy thread on top and the muslin thread in the bobbin and sewing with the appropriate fabric combination to keep the navy touching the navy fabric and the muslin touching the snow fabric. And I had really good tension and I was happy with how the seam looked, but when I pressed it open, it honestly didn't make a huge difference 
And I felt like if the tension got off at all, or if during the quilting process, things shifted or moved around, um, I wasn't sure that that was really what I wanted. Uh, and honestly, it looked a lot like the muslin seam um, looked. And then I had another question and someone asked, well, what does it look like when you layer these on top of the batting that you're planning on using? And I am all about trying this out. So I don't have any photographs of that. It's later in the day now and my, my good light is gone, but trust me when I say that I took the samples and I put them on top of the batting and honestly, it didn't really change anything. So for me, this is what is going to work and I'm going to piece mostly with navy thread. I will use the muslin as I mentioned when I'm sewing um, the off-white fabric together. Uh, but you might find that you need to do something different if you were placing your seams to the side. I'd test it out. You never know. if you, So when you're in a situation and just not sure what to use, I always suggest giving it a try. Happy quilting!